Hey guys, Moisan here and welcome back to my channel where we talk about nursing and skincare and hair care. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my experience with using topical melatonin for hair loss. So as you guys have seen from the title, yes, I was prescribed a topical melatonin for hair loss. But before I share with you my experience with using topical melatonin, let me briefly explain to you guys what is melatonin and how does melatonin affects hair growth. So melatonin is a hormone that is naturally produced by our body and it plays a very important role in our sleeping cycle. So we normally produce more melatonin during nighttime when it is dark outside to help us fall asleep. Okay guys, let me simplify. Melatonin is not just a hormone that helps us fall asleep. But did you guys know that melatonin is actually a very potent and a very strong antioxidant? So according to studies, our hair follicles have melatonin receptors that is believed to play a role in the hair growth cycle. And guys, did you know that there has been some studies that shows that topical melatonin actually improves hair density and increases hair growth without any adverse reaction? Although the studies are still pretty small, this is actually very promising. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna share with you how I ended up using this topical melatonin. So three years ago when I was actually kind of scared to take finasteride and minoxidil, I actually went to see a naturopathic doctor to seek for an alternative medicine. I don't know if you guys have seen my video on sopal metal and my experience with using sopal metal. Go and check it out over here. So specifically with topical melatonin, I actually took this for three months. The reason why is that I couldn't handle or tolerate the the effects on me I mean I was feeling very very sleepy so I kind of have to reduce the frequency of applying topical solution from every day to three times a week but still I was feeling very groggy and feeling very sleepy and it's actually affecting my everyday chores you know even if I have six to eight hours of sleep I still feel very very sleepy other than that that's actually the only cons with using topical solutions okay I think with topical melatonin such as this one, it's very effective if you have like insomnia or if you're coming from a shift to work or from night shift. I, I think this one works very, very good. But if you're gonna use it for hair growth, it's also good. It's just that it depends on you if you can actually tolerate the sleepiness during the day. But personally, I couldn't, um, I couldn't manage it very well. So I had to stop uh, using it. In terms of hair growth, I did not see any hair growth which I think it's too soon to to see it in three months okay and the only thing also that really helped with topical melatonin is the itchiness because you know when you have male pattern baldness one of the earliest signs is you're having itchy scalp because the DHT is attacking the hair follicle so it's it kind of helped me manage that with using topical solutions and actually that's all about it so if you guys wanted to know where to get a topical solution there are a lot of topical solutions products even oral supplements over the counter and also on the internet but guys before you buy anything online or over the counter make sure to always ask your doctor first okay because you don't know what dosage of melatonin you're gonna be taking and specifically with this melatonin it has 0.2 percent topical solution which I don't think you can find it online so ask your doctor first before buying anything online okay just to be on the safe side I know that you guys wanted to know if oral supplement of melatonin would also work the same thing as topical melatonin for hair growth. The answer is no. As of now, there are no evidence to support that oral melatonin would promote hair growth. The study was done in using the topical melatonin. So we have some few studies with topical melatonin but not for oral melatonin. Okay, I hope that clears everything out. Anyways guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you guys again so much for watching my videos. And guys, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below and you guys can also leave me a message in my Instagram. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, turn on that notification bell for more updated videos such as this one. And guys, don't forget to share it with your friends and families. And I'll see you guys again next time on my next videos. Bye-bye!